Hello everyone, welcome to justtarval.com. Here in this video, I am going to tell you how to implement search functionality with paginated data. In the previous video, I, I said how to implement search functionality. Here we also implement search functionality with the uh, paginated data. This is the post here. You can search it. This is also a working demo here. You can test it. This is how it works. There are thousands of records here. We can search for some Sara. We'll search for like this. And you can see these are all the names related to Sara here. This is Sara. This is one more. And they are yes, the search results are also paginated here. So this is how we can search. If we can search for R, we'll have lots of results. You can see 170. You have paginated that up to 170. So that's how we can um, implement this search functionality with paginated data. So we are going to implement that now. So let's open my terminal, create a new project. I will go to workspace and so I'm going to create a new Laravel project using this composer create project command. Composer create project Laravel Laravel and I'm going to give the app name as pagination search video and uh, I'm also going to specify the version as 5.5 so it's creating a new Laravel project for us so our application is set successfully so now we'll go and open this project in our sublime text editor so So this is our project. So first we'll go and um, remove all this from this uh, in this welcome.blade.php we'll remove all this and we'll just need a form like a, a search form and a table to display the results. Uh, you can see here um, in this demo we just need this uh, search form and the table for displaying this uh, uh, details. So let us first uh, uh, create this uh, HTML markup. So I have pasted this uh, uh, basic uh, form here. Uh, this has one uh, uh, input field that is a uh, search field. This is input type text. Uh, this is a placeholder for search users in and we have grouped a button to it that is a search button. As you can see here uh, this is the button. This is the field search users and this is the button grouped it. So if we refresh this and see, you can see this search users and this uh, search button. So nothing has happened. Uh, so we need to uh, create this root now. Uh, slash search. So we'll go to roots dot uh, roots and we'll uh, open this web dot php file. We'll create a root here. Po uh, we can also use get and post so that we can write any here, and that would be slash search. There is only one function in this simple example, so I will so I'll create it here itself instead of creating a new controller and all. So now we'll get the so now we'll get that variable using this uh, input function. Input uh, there would be get get and that would be q. The variable name is uh, I mean the text field name is q here. So we will get the value here like this, and for that we also need to import this here. You can import it like this. So now if I go here and refresh it, so if I enter some we, it should return we here so that we can confirm that uh, it is coming here. And one more thing here is instead of returning this, uh, instead of just returning this uh, uh, welcome here, uh, we also need to create a table and create some data here. As you see in the example here, uh, by default we'll have some uh, data if you go and uh, uh, search uh, by default they will have a uh, thousand rows of data with pagination so we'll get this table and some dummy data so first we'll create a table for it so below this uh, so below this container we'll create another container and in that container we'll keep the table here so this is the boilerplate of the table here we'll just have a head that will say name and email and we'll have this uh, uh, body with a uh, name and email here. We'll get this from the uh, uh, database here. So we'll query the database here and we'll show. So we'll uh, 
uh, connect to database here I will go mysql minus u root and minus p I will enter the password I will use this table called just laravel oh database changed now I will create a new table here actually we have table I think uh, uh, show tables you can see dummy details I have already imported the dummy data here dummy details we can also see all the data here select you can see thousand rows we have thousand rows of dummy data with just email and name all this is all the data so we'll use this table here so for that um, uh, we need to create a model here in our laravel application so if you go into our uh, application and see in the root uh, and the app folder you can see this uh, uh, dummy details.php this is the model so what we can do is we can um, so we create a variable here that is that uh, protected that would be table and we'll give the table name here that table name will be dummy details as I showed so oh, in this web.php we'll get the data from those model here so we need to use it use it app slash uh, dummy details and here we can use that dummy details or uh, you can say data equal to uh, this uh, sorry this is dummy details all we can use this all and we can also uh, paginate this data uh, we can just paginate it uh, We can paginate it by 25 element, 25 records each. So we will get only 25 records uh, each time, and I will pass it to this data here uh, with uh, data, and I will pass this variable data here. So now we'll go into the view here, and here we'll do a for each, for each. Uh, we say dollar data as user something like that. And we'll end for each here. And we'll say user of uh, user email and name. Those fields are. Uh, we'll say user of uh, name. And here we'll just uh, uh, show the email here. Actually, we forget one thing. We need to place this uh, database details in .env file. I'll quickly place them there. In this place, we will need to place this database name is uh, uh, just Larval. Username is root. Password is also root. So now uh, we need to, uh, for us, we will stop this and run this again. So now if you refresh this page, you can see this is all the details. This is all the, we have, this is all the details as you see. We have got only 25 results, but there is no pagination link here. Actually, there are 1000 records in the database, but we have seen only 25 records as we as we said here to uh, paginate by 25. And in this page, we did not render the pagination. So we will render the pagination here so that we can see only 25 records. So after this uh, table, I will use this. Uh, uh, we can use this thing here like this and we can call them render function here on users users render sorry it should be data not users data of render and now let's refresh this you can see that it's pagination here up to 40 records there are 25 in each page and 1000 records there is 40 records and now we'll implement this search functionality now so in this web.php we are getting this here we'll just uh, remove this comment and we'll use dollar q equal to that is query equal to input dot get q so we'll get this variable so now we'll perform a database search functionality now so if uh, uh, dollar q uh, not equal to empty we'll check for uh, whether that is a uh, uh, empty or not if that is not, if that is not empty we will uh, proceed further uh, we will uh, use this variable equal to uh, that is the database name is dummy details dummy details uh, we will use this where uh, where name and we will use this like operator 
a name like this uh, we can use this percentages uh, so that uh, and this name would be like uh, this dollar Q here that is the thing we are searching for and again we can give this uh, uh, percentages here this is how we can search for a particular piece of a thing instead of the whole thing if we search for like so if that particular mentioned uh, word or a particular string is uh, anywhere in this particular name it will show us for it will show for us that's how we can search using this uh, percentage you know? and we can also do one more thing uh, we also search in uh, uh, for email also same thing uh, we will search for email so whether we enter the search thing search query is in name field or in email field we will search it and here for search result we will paginate by 5 and we are using custom pagination like thing we will also use this set path thing we will set it to initial uh, like this all the results would be stored in this user variable here the set path variable we set it as empty because I uh, will just show you here uh, this is the form when we search something like uh, Sara here uh, it shows the result now um, so now if you click this 2 here you can see slash q equal to Sara and page equal to 2 but if you give some custom URL here like some something like this so what happens here is here instead of this uh, it will come like a uh, slash SSSF something like this so we don't need that so I just kept that path as empty so that's why I kept the path as empty there so we'll just use this path as empty so now after setting this uh, we need to append this uh, user links so we are searching we are getting some results and in that search results we are paginating so we need to append something here to the users so dollar users we need to append the query here there is a function called appends here and it takes array as a parameter array and the item would be q here and it will take its value as value which are getting from the input input get q so this is would be the variable here so we append to the uh, results so for this uh, so what happens now here is we'll search for this uh, where name like uh, we will search this and uh, we also we are also paginating here so so for this result we'll only see the five here if there are more than five results we need to uh, paginate them for that pagination to work with uh, this uh, results query we need to do something like this we need to append this uh, uh, same this variable same we need to append this here to this users array sorry not users this is this is user so we need to append this to the users array so finally we will get all the details in this users variable so and one more thing I'm going to change this variable as data itself because we are rendering uh, because we are rendering here uh, this variable data dot render so we need to give pagination on this data variable itself so I have given that so now we will check uh, if uh, count of uh, this uh, data dollar data is greater than 0 then we will then only we will show the results greater than 0 we will just uh, return with return view with welcome return view we will copy this now so we will return view with welcome and this variable data and this data so if there are no results we'll return view we'll return view with message some variable say g and we'll type the message as uh, no results found uh, and we'll use this message variable in our uh, uh, here in this welcome.blade.php so before this uh, table we'll use this uh, iset command so iset there are only this data if we set only data is there, we'll uh, perform this. We'll make this if is set. So if if data is there, we'll perform all this. And if data is not there, uh, we'll do else and we'll print that message here. So we don't need this here. We'll print that message here. Uh, that is dollar me ssag. So that's how it works. Then we'll also need to end if it. So what happens if we set data means from here we are sending data if count to greater than zero we are sending this uh, data or else if the data is not there we are, send we are not sending any data so now we will check it so now let's test it I will uh, give some two 
a and clicking enter you can see these are the results and if we click this two here you can see this uh, there are second page results are here so that's it for the video guys we have implemented search functionality we have implemented the pagination functionality and we have combined them both in the initial generated the data with uh, 25 all the thousand records and then instead of then we are searching results in search results we have paginated it to five and it is also you can also search like this it will come the next page results judy hill aaron oliver anna anderson and in the first page you will get the first page results that is how we can implement pagination and search functionality in laravel and i want to just tell you all the code is available on so on github here so this is the project here this is my username Avinashan and this is the repository name page nation and search Larval. So you can use this uh, git repo. And if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. That means a lot to me. Share it with your friends, give it a like, comment. Stay tuned for more videos from justlarval.com. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Now it's time to discover more. Simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel, watch another video, and visit our webpage.